Nearly $3 billion worth of products were sold in 24 hours by just two influencers the other day in China. And today we're going to be breaking that down in an effort to prove just how early we still are in terms of e-commerce growth. I swear one of the biggest things I get on my channel or I get DM'd is Ari, is dropshipping dead? Is Shopify just too difficult nowadays? Is e-commerce just a dying industry? Which honestly, I don't know where people are getting these things from. And this is why today I wanted to share with you this story about how a couple top influencers in China literally sold $3 billion worth of products during a live stream. So in China, it's actually quite popular to do live stream events where people can actually shop. So it's shoppable streaming events. This is something that nobody really does in the US yet, but I guarantee I'm making a prediction right now that this will be absolutely huge in the next coming years in the United States as well. So just like this guy on Twitter shared, this is more than Twitter's entire month's revenue in just a single day. And it's not like this was a huge corporation. It was a couple influencers. Now, when I dug slightly deeper, apparently this was done for Alibaba's annual shopping festival where they do these sorts of things. So as it states here, live streaming is part variety show, part infomercial. So clearly this is actually not too uncommon in this article right here this is from a couple days ago it says via another type live streamer sold about 8 billion yuan worth of goods on the same day in a show that lasted 14 hours while another star sherry had sales of about 1.2 billion yuan so man i really thought that i was setting a high goal when i said i wanted to have a 100k day with my brands but these girls out here are literally reaching billion dollar days so we gotta set the sights a little bit higher here but if we want to understand this further maybe we should watch this video real quick so let's take a look this is live stream shopping one of the hottest trends in china every night tens of millions of people watch live shows hosted by influencers like via and buy the products they recommend on e-commerce and social apps like taobao and douyin the sister app of tiktok it's not about you know only shopping. It's about the experience. It's about having fun. You got to see 3D. You got to see in some kind of action. It's almost like a theater act. The internet craze has taken over China. So it's kind of just like a more fun way to shop. I mean, that's really what the live stream achieves. It's just it gives you a more personal shopping experience, which again, I've never actually seen this done. I've never seen people do this. So I can't really picture how powerful that would be. But I have watched people stream in the past and you guys watch me stream sometimes. So I don't know. I guess let's try to learn a little bit more here. But, the but this is really interesting. The country had almost 400 million live stream shopping users. Four million. China's live stream e-commerce market has also grown dramatically with an estimated value of $161 billion in 2020. Oh my God, that is extremely exponential growth. outside China as well. So, is live streaming the future of shopping? Live streaming is not a new thing. In China, it started in 2015 with the rollout of 4G. And it was first used for entertainment and socializing. That's how it's Many used right now in the US. Many for their followers or chatted to them, making money by receiving virtual currency and gifts. In the West, live streaming is mainly the <laughs> domain of avid gamers. Exactly. In League China, of Legends is huge with e streaming. China actually has a very big e-commerce empire. So it uses they these do. super apps, what we call um, that you have payment, you have search of information, you have super recommendation apps. system, and you have huge amount of goods available on the platform and as well as a lot of consumers. So with this advantage, they merge um, these features of live streaming uh, to make the influencers. Man, this goods. is exactly where Amazon is going. I just figured it out. So Amazon actually owns Twitch, which is the biggest live streaming platform for video games right now. And obviously Amazon is the biggest e-commerce website in the world. They are completely gonna merge the two. That is insane. God damn, Jeff Bezos is always on the cutting edge of shit. Perfect choice, nice neutrals, beautiful print, nothing overwhelming, and the warmth and comfort of flannel. This is item Traditional TV shopping involves a one-way direction. I was gonna so say, this is like, I've, I've known about this type of stuff. Things and say, call this number or something. But live stream shopping is live. 
that in itself is a very, very big difference that causes different psychology. And live stream shopping is a, a very entertaining way of actually engaging someone else. When you shop, actually, the uh, live streaming video will continue. It will minimize into a corner, and you can like buy the items and pay all on the same app. And after that, the live streaming screen will just enlarge by itself, and the uh, promoter will come back to screen. So it's like very convenient. Taobao, one of China's biggest e-commerce platforms owned by tech giant Alibaba, mm -hmm. added a live streaming function in early 2016. In the oh damn! Years, so 2016. Other and social platforms like JD and Douyin also integrated this feature. That's interesting. Yeah, people probably are super used to it by now. Over billion dollars worth of goods was sold via live stream on Taobao in the years through March 2021. Latest surveys so show that crazy, over 60% of live stream users in China were watching shopping shows. And over 65% of them shopped at least once via live stream. In 2020, live stream shopping got a huge boost during the pandemic. That makes total sense. I wonder what the difference is between this stuff and like US numbers. I wonder how many people in the US are starting to shop like this. Millions of people were in lockdown and many retailers were pushed online. Yeah, that really so gave e-com a huge like boost. There's a need for more social uh, interactions. This live platform and oh, that's an so true. Kind of uh, environment that these people this sense that I'm actually interacting with you. And it gives you social interaction and like it of things that people could feels the craving to buy something. The sense, of, the sense of like losing control, especially during the pandemic. At the heart of this craze, that's so crazy. Are the top influencers who have tens of millions of followers and sell products worth millions of dollars every night. They often use their star power to get bargains from retailers, which in turn boosts their own sales and influence. So if you think about it's a mutually uh, beneficial China's relationship, life, that's you really have true. To know the king and queen of the influencers. The queen of live streaming, Via, she is actually having the biggest viewership and uh, the biggest sales volume for a long time on Taobao platform. She can sell everything from like Gucci sunglasses, um, lipsticks, homes and cars. That is so One crazy. she offered her followers to go on a Tesla ride with her. And she even, for once, sold a rocket launch in her live streaming room for 40 million yuan. The king would be Li Jiaqi, more widely known as Lipstick's brother. He used to be a cosmetic sales um, before he turned into live streaming e-commerce. And uh, he knows a lot about the cosmetics. Live streaming so e-commerce is its own career path now. When, uh, he's that is wild. Top live streamers like Via and Li Jiaqi have become celebrities in China and can earn millions of dollars a year. Although not everyone can be as popular, mid-ranking live streamers like Tiffany still earn a good income through sales commissions. Yeah, you're mainly entertaining people. That must be so exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've streamed for like two hours at a time, and I can tell you, it is really exhausting. Yeah. So they just live stream every day and sell things every day, which really helps with trust. A lot of successful live streamers are generally very good at communication. They're very good, good at, communicators, at that makes sense. Very simply what a product does, what a product doesn't do. But they're not even selling their own products. Trustworthy 
and appear trustworthy and they need to you know show in some ways that they're authentic right so for via and the chassis they are able to articulate that quite a bit through their body language through what they say for example uh the chia chi will always you know sometimes say things that, bad things about certain products because to him there's his honest opinion and something people want to hear that and so they seem very credible they seem very trustworthy and uh, don't forget they're also very entertaining and very interesting if you're familiar with chia chi he won a, a guinness record for like the most lipstick applications to models in like 30 seconds <laughs> what a weird world so record. you're able to create a lot of buzz with really interesting things that you do. People who may not want to buy lipsticks will also stream in just to watch what he does. And then from there, you, you might get hooked. This is usually okay. some of these things. Luxury brands, even... Other people want the same product. And they add it in the chat and they ask questions and they say, oh, I want this too. What happens then? It makes the whole product mm, even more scarce. Okay, so that's but kind of the big not thing. Just influencers, local farmers, luxury brands, even mutual funds. Once people start hyping up the product in the chat, shows. everybody wants to buy it. Working with very top tier live streamers can be risky. It's not necessary that the benefits will end up with a brand. So we see company executives opening their own shows. Um, and we see like PNG have their own sales room, which runs shows every day as well. Uh, we also have like local governors in like small towns to sell their agricultural products. So the live streaming is definitely transformed the way product owners can think about how to reach their consumers and it enables a lot of players to actually sell that is so Life crazy. Shopping is going global. Merchants in Southeast Asia have embraced this trend. And in just the West, wait till it Amazon gets popular in the US. It's live streaming function, adding interactive features like Amazon chat Live. Rooms. Companies, including Google. Oh, so Facebook, they're already doing it. Wow. Also developing and investing in technologies to integrate video and e commerce. 直播电商它其实已经开始成为主流，它未来的发展空间跟潜力都是巨大的。接下来大家会越来越依赖这种购物方式，会变成一个比较日常化、比较规范化的这么一个趋势。If you look at the numbers alone, their numbers alone, Li Jiaxi's numbers or Via's numbers, you know that they can sell, and you know that you know they can generate revenue. Are they able to sustain it over a long period of time? Uh, it depends on how you know very they are at changing some of the things that they do. But you can't expect consumers one day turn into virtual shopping for good. There will be the nature of us that crave to go into the store to touch the goods and actually wear it and yeah, see true. how it looks like and walk around in that with our friends. And those things wouldn't be replaceable with live streaming. Yeah. Okay. So, well, to be honest with you, I still feel like this is going to be huge in the US if it hasn't been already. I mean, as they just showed a little bit, Amazon apparently has like some sort of beta test, but I'm still pretty shocked by these sales numbers. I mean, I understand that China has a lot more people, but still the consumer culture here in the US is huge. So, so I can imagine once this becomes very popular here in the US as well, these sorts of numbers are going to seem like nothing. We're going to be seeing even bigger numbers. Like we may even see some people doing like $10 billion days, which is just truly insane if you think about it. I mean, I'm telling you, this really goes to show that the e-commerce world is continuing to expand exponentially especially as we continue to digitalize everything and this is why I see the world of crypto and e-commerce being so hand in hand and like tangled together not just when it comes to the companies and their ethos so for example I always share that Shopify's ethos is arming the rebels giving small businesses the power to compete against the bigger empires and that's basically what crypto is doing as well as being a decentralized medium of exchange or store of value whatever there's so many different applications but it's all involving the digital world and this is just so crazy man three billion dollars in a day i just think that's so nuts so now i want to ask the question how can we take advantage of this right like maybe you're watching this video and you're just starting in your e-commerce journey you're learning about all these things but you don't know where to get started i mean truly the best thing that you can do right now is just to start brainstorming stuff to sell i believe when it comes to this digital stuff e-commerce is a really solid foundation because you know when it comes to selling nfts for example or like trading crypto it's definitely worthwhile but it's very risky and if you don't have an existing income to cover your losses for example then yeah you may just continue to lose money and lose money maybe even getting to debt however if you have like an e-commerce store for example that's earning you money every month or you have a job and then you build an e-commerce store 
that eventually replaces your job. Then you can start investing more money without the repercussions being so harsh, right? Because you actually have cash flow. So I think right now it is a good idea to focus on cash flow and then start looking into more investing opportunities. But it's something that I want to start making more videos around because I truly love the NFT space and the crypto space. I've been very, very involved. I've made a lot of money in it. And of course, I'm not an expert, but I feel like I'm confident enough to pass down some really good information. And you know, I'm really grateful that somebody told me about this stuff. So I just want to continue to talk about this stuff on YouTube. This gives me a lot of meaning in life. But yeah, I mean, I just recommend that you guys go on AliExpress. AliExpress is really the only tool you need to try to get business ideas. You can go on Google and type AliExpress dropshipping center and it takes you here and here's kind of the best place to start your business, to be honest with you. So you could get a ton of product ideas, something like this, for example, top rated sales performance, really good reviews. This is obviously something that doesn't solve any sort of problem whatsoever, but it's cute and I'm sure you could find somebody out there that loves this, especially if you position it right. So just as a quick tip here, I've done seven figures in sales, so I kind of understand for the most part how to sell a product and something like this just may not cut it. I think you should order this product to wherever you live and create some better content. Otherwise, you can just go on Fiverr and try to find somebody to do it for you. But overall, I just wanted to share these news with you guys because I found it so shocking. And news like that always just inspire me to go even harder. It really reminds me that, you know, even though it's good to take the time to enjoy life, time is also ticking pretty quickly. And like these opportunities present to us right now are just unbelievable. It feels like there's never been so much opportunity at one time, like ever in human history. And it's because of the digital revolution and just how exponential everything is becoming. So I urge you guys to take action, continue to follow my content. I'm always going to be trying to steer you guys in the right direction. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and tune into every video. I'm not overloading you guys with content now so to make sure that you guys get some in between time to just take action because learning is great. And I always encourage everybody to continue learning, but it's really important to actually be working as well. And that's different for each one of you. Maybe you're a freelancer, maybe you're trying to start a store, I don't know. But either way, just make sure that you're working more than you're learning or do both at the same time, you know, like pop up a podcast or pop up one of my videos while you work. That's also a great idea. But yeah, sorry for the rant. I found this really interesting and I can't wait to see when this becomes a big trend in the US and how it's going to affect the landscape overall. Again, my opinion really is that it's just going to open up a whole new bubble of opportunity within the e-commerce world for drop shipping, Shopify, just e-commerce in general, Amazon FBA, just all these different e-commerce opportunities. This is going to be another big bubble of opportunity. And I want to hand that question off to you. What do you think? How is this going to affect the landscape for e-commerce in the next coming years? I'm always really curious to know you guys' opinions. And that's it for this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Check out the links in the description and I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.